We will begin and end this evening with hymn number 268, uh, 268 from the hymn book. Can I invite you please to stand? Hallelujah, hallelujah, give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give praise to his name. Spread the desert, Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give praise to his name. Spread the good news for all the earth. Jesus has died and is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to his name. We have been crucified with Christ. Now we shall live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to his name. Good evening. You're very welcome to our celebration of Mass this evening. It's a holiday weekend. I know so that we are fewer in number than normally we are. And thank you for your presence and thank you if you're joining us online. I'm going to speak tonight as if I've got something, uh, some kind of lisp. I've got a swelling in my tongue. I don't know if it's an ulcer or something, but um, it makes my tongue a bit bigger than it's supposed to be. And it's quite difficult to speak. Normally when I speak, it's painful for you, but it's also painful for me tonight. So perhaps I'll moderate uh, the length. Just, it's one of those wee annoying things. It's just grating on my teeth. And I, I'm not really sure why. However, uh, I'm sure it will clear up in due course. Um, I, I've re re resisted gargling with whiskey just, just yet. But welcome, anyway, to the sixth Sunday of Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The gospel is going to offer us a discourse from Jesus with some very consoling words. And uh, indeed, Peter offers consoling words to the early church about the choices that God makes um, and the possibilities that lie before us who are chosen. So we give thanks to God for his presence in our lives, for our presence in his, and that we might celebrate worthily. We call to mind our sins and we ask God's pardon. You are sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray.
Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of Easter joy, which we keep in honour of the risen Lord. And what we relive in remembrance, may we always hold to in what we say and do. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As Peter reached the house, Cornelius went out to meet him, knelt at his feet and prostrated himself. But Peter helped him up. Stand up, he said. I am only a man, after all. Then Peter addressed them. The truth I have now come to realize, he said, is that God does not have favorites, but that anybody of any nationality who fears God and does what is right is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit came down on all the listeners. Jewish believers who had come accompanied Peter were all astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit should be poured out on the pagans too, since they could hear them speaking strange languages and proclaiming the greatness of God. Peter himself then said, Could anyone refuse the water of baptism to these people? Now they have received the Holy Spirit just as much as we have. And then he gave orders for them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Afterwards, they begged him to stay on for some days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, the Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. Sing a new song to the Lord. The Lord has shown his salvation salvation to to the the nations. nations. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord Lord has has shown his salvation salvation to the the nations. nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. The The Lord Lord has has shown shown his salvation salvation to the the nations. nations. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God, and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God, because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only Son, so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean. Not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his Son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. 
This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Grace to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I, uh, I shared with you a couple of months ago um, how challenging I found the situation of trying to um, dispose of my mum's house after her death. It was part of her estate. And I was the executor. It was my task to ensure that the house sold for the best price so that, that, that the money would go to her estate um, and be distributed according to the, the instructions in her will. Uh, and I, I said I found it a very, very stressful situation because um, I have no expertise at all. I've never done this before uh, as an executor. Um, I've supported my brother. He was my aunt's executor. Um, and my sister-in-law, who was my brother's executor. Um, and I know it can be difficult, but I was not, never taking di resp direct responsibility for it. But in this case, I did have direct responsibility. And I felt really, it's a bit of a buzzword, but I felt really disempowered because yeah, I knew nothing about the topic. And everybody was represented by somebody else, including myself. So um, mum had a lawyer and we had an estate agent and the people negotiating with the estate agent were the buyers or representatives of the buyers or the lawyers of the buyers. Um, so there was always a break in the, in the chain of communication. Um, there was no direct communication. And although I was the seller and they were the buyer, we had no contact. And there were various shenanigans. People were trying to do various things. Now, the lawyer and the estate agent were well on the case um, of people trying to, you know, uh, negotiate the price down or a quick sale and flip the property or whatever they were doing, um, you know, uh, bringing you up until the last minute until they were just about to sign and then uh, offering you £20,000 less and things like that so that you were, you know, left on a cliff edge and you had to go back to stage one again. It was, I found it really stressful um, because I had no knowledge um, and I had no way into the process and I could not work out a strategy for gaining enough knowledge and enough time or breaking in to the, the, the closed circle of negotiators that were apparently negotiating um, on my behalf for the disposal of an asset um, for Mum's estate. But I had no way into that, and I, I found it really disempowering uh, and difficult to deal with. Um, and I, the more I experience relationships, um, particularly in the workplace or it, it, among groups of people, when somebody's disempowered within the workplace or within the group or within a relationship, um, it makes them very uncomfortable and, and often leads to the breakdown of that relationship. Um, and and a lack of ability to get done what we're trying to do. Um, and it arises a lot, a lot of time from the lack of choice and lack of freedom you feel you have. I felt I had no freedom in that situation because I, I couldn't make any choices that affected either the ongoing negotiation or indeed the outcome. It was ultimately disempowering. Um, which is why I find today when I hear the words, you have not chosen me, no, I have chosen you to be very empowering. Why? Because the Lord is trying to tell us that God has chosen us. That's already done. It's already dealt with. We, 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 there's no unknowns in that equation. It's already, as it were, a done deal. We, we, we were called by God. We were baptized. We we're members of his family. That is already signed, sealed, and delivered. Therefore, our destiny 
to live life anew uh, by virtue of the Lord's resurrection and to know the promise of life eternal. That's already ours. It's already a given. Uh, and God is always faithful to his word. Never goes back on his promises. So the only thing that we need to do is assent to that, assent to the choice of God and make our choices accordingly, which are free and open because we are empowered completely in the relationship we have by God because there is nothing we can do to ruin it, to waste it, to, to, to prevent what God has decided happening. You know, we can thwart his will from time to time, yes, absolutely, and we will fail from time to time to do what we're called to do, absolutely. But it doesn't change the bottom line. It doesn't mean we're no longer called by God. It doesn't mean we're no longer chosen as, an, as members of God's holy people. So within our situations, we are ultimately empowered for the choices that we might make. We are already in charge of the full process, and we know what the outcome is, no matter us getting it wrong in the middle. So for the, the joy that that freedom gives us, for the fact that we are chosen and called, and that God already um, has, has invited us to be part of his family. There is no effort involved in our part. We don't need to do anything to deserve this. It's already achieved. What's invited of us is to embrace that reality and to respond to the presence of God in our lives by doing what the rest of the gospel suggested that we do um, in making other people very precious to us uh, by our generosity, by our forgiveness, by our love. Um, that's already for us, already a, a done deal, if you like. So, with joy, uh, we give thanks for the choices that God has made, for the call that we've received, and we ask for the courage uh, to embrace that which God has chosen to offer. To make known our needs and prayers before God, we stand. Give to the church, chosen and called to service, the love for all which reveals the love of God. As she has received grace, may she be a channel of his peace, now and for all time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant to those who hold authority the love which is stronger than the love of power. May they know that true authority is from above and is fulfilled not in command but in service. Grant that love shall drive out hatred between nations and races and the whole world be at peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. As Christ has called us to be his friends, increase in us the gift of friendship towards all who come close to us in our daily lives. By our love one for another, May we show that we have heard and answered his call to follow him. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Have mercy on those who have never known love are enslaved by anger and bitterness. Show them the love of God to resolve them to the love of humanity. Hear the prayers of the sick and afflicted who ask for healing. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the departed, called to the service in this world, and now called to the presence of the Lord, who has loved them from the beginning. May their joy be complete, and may we come to that eternal joy in the fellowship of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. To these general intercessions, we add prayer for our own particular and local needs. We, we remember those who have asked us to pray for them, especially those whom we know to be in particular need at this time. Pray for those who join us online, particularly if they are elderly, unwell, infirm, or are caring for others. The Lord will be with them, give them strength, courage, and bless their generosity of heart. 
And we pray finally for our dead. We remember those who have died recently, especially Father Neil Sharp, Margaret McCurdy, <coughs> George Head, Thomas Donald, and Joseph Conway. We pray also for those whose anniversaries are coming around now, especially those who have been asked to remember in prayer. That they may all know the presence of God. Lord, hear us. Graciously hear us. God our Father, you call us through your Son to be your holy people, to know new life and the promise of life eternal. Help us to embrace with joy the choices that you have made, the call that we have received, and the possibilities that are ours in daily life. Our prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let's pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. May our prayers rise up before you, O Lord, so that these our offerings may be purified by your graciousness and that we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Our prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to praise you, O Lord, but in this Easter season, above all, to lodge you most gloriously, for Christ our Passover has been raised. Through him the children of light rise to life eternal, and the halls of your heavenly kingdom are thrown open to your faithful people. For his death is a ransom from death, in his rising to life, all of us are risen. Therefore, with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory. May our voices be one with theirs, as together with them we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to life eternal, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. For the coming of God's kingdom, we pray as the Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, you who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is my body, broken for you, bringing you wholeness, seeking you free. Take it and eat it, and when you do, do it in love for me. This is my blood. Poured out for you, bringing you wholeness, making you free. Take it and drink it, and when you do, do it in love for me. Back to my Father, soon I shall go. Do not forget me, then you will see. I am still with you, and you will know. 
You're very close to me, filled with my spirit, how you will grow. You are my branches, I am the tree. You are alive in me. Love one another. I have loved you. And I have shown you how to be free. Serve one another. And when you do, do it in love for me. Let's stand to pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Easter sacrament, pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can I invite you to make yourself familiar with the latest notices that are to be found in all the usual places. We prayed uh, for quite a few members of our parish community who have gone to God over the past uh, couple of weeks, so please remember them in your prayer. Margaret McCurdy's funeral will be this week on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. And Father Neil Sharp, uh, uh, maybe you, you know, he and his brother, Father Jim, went, they're both from Greenock, they, they went to, um, uh, to Chile to serve in the diocese out there and did so for very many years um, with great fidelity for Father Neil has died and his funeral will take place in Chile so there will be a memorial service for him um, in St uh, Nennings and Guruk on Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock if anyone would like to attend they will be made most welcome thanks for your presence this evening I hope you have a, a, a nice evening a nice weekend particularly if it's a holiday weekend for you and a good week ahead and we ask God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, Give praise to his name. God has proclaimed the just reward. Life for us all. Alleluia. 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 Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give praise to his name. Come, let us praise the living Lord. Joyfully sing to our Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to his name.